Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. We are no longer November. We are into December. Oh, Ultramarines I see on the Joy Toy calendar today. Is that Victrix and Honor God? Anyway, we are Saturday the 2nd of December 2023. And yesterday I came home to a nice surprise. Bum, bum, bum. Already. Yes, that's right. The Joy Toy Warhammer 40k Cadian Artillery, the Astra Militrium. Ordnance teams have just been released here in China. So we got the Ordnance team with the Malleus rocket launcher and with the Bombast field gun. Look pretty cool. Now I haven't taken off the uh, cellophane yet. And the reason is if you look there, you can see the cellophane is now printed with Joy Toy's name. Uh, first time I've seen that, which is pretty cool. And the cellophane sort of half coming off already. Okay, so let's get a look at the boxes. Front, we can see there. The back, we can see that it comes with three guys. Got the actual piece there. And some nice details, it looks like. I know a lot of people wanted to buy these guys separately. Unfortunately, they're not available separately, which is a shame. This one, the gun looks great. Looks like they've got the same base going on. So I'm assuming... It's going to be save a lot of money in terms of uh, parts because you need to do tooling for singular parts of some of the gun. That does look great though. I am looking forward to this. Are these guys the same or different? They're different poses might be very similar. We'll have a look in comparison anyway when we open them up. Okay, I'm going to unbox them, set them up. I'll be back in an instant. Do stay tuned. Okay, here we are. I'm doing this one by one to just take up a lot of a uh, lot of table space, desk space to display these, and I'd rather have slightly a uh, bigger image as opposed to smaller to fit everything, and so it's a lot easier for you guys to uh, see. Lots of stuff going on here. Really, really nice job. Uh, one thing I'm not so keen on at the moment, or let me rephrase that. One thing I think could have been done better. And I'm looking at the box to see if I've done it wrong. It's like I haven't done it wrong. Uh, but we'll look at that in a little bit. Let's look at the accessories first of all. So they all, the three guys come with the three circular clear bases. They also come with six pairs of hands additional. Uh, so you get, let's get this right. We get three. These are three left fists. You get three right hand, right pointing hands. Now I have swapped one around already for this, the commander guy there, the sergeant guy. I think it's the sergeant. Uh, so I've taken off his uh, right trigger. They all come with trigger. They come with right gripping hands. I've changed one already as well. This is the right gripping hand. They come with standard. They come with three, bear in mind I've changed one, open right hands for holding the rifles and then they come with three left gripping hands like thus okay you get this really nice i call it a chisel this hammer metal mallet maybe kind of worrying you've got ordnance explosives using this to fix it and this adjustable spanner or wrench which doesn't work but that would be just mind-blowing if it did you get two guns like this. Much more like three guns like this. The other one's a little bit different though, which are nice looking. They do hold them quite well. And then you get one more, which is the same, but the other one, which he's got there, has got a stock which can unfold. We'll look at that now, in fact. Look at the guy's neck. So, we'll do this guy first. Also missing, and that's something else I'm not showed you. So, this stock does. In fact, look at it. Look at still look at the uh, accessories, but then we'll come back to the figures in a second. Okay, so this one does actually unfold back to there. A bit difficult for them to hold like that, but it does unfold, which is a nice feature. It does look pretty damn cool. Other accessories this guy is holding the binoculars. This guy's sitting down, or not even sitting down properly in there. He's got this little saddle bag. We get this box, and inside this box, which does, which I open, we get two, two rockets, two shells, two rounds, whatever you want to call them. Very, very nice indeed. Now let's look at the figure. So this is the guy that was sitting down. 
He's got this sort of face mask part on. This guy and the nun, other nun sergeant guy both have holsters but no pistols. So I'm guessing you could put tools in there possibly. The spanner would fit in there. So if I do that, where's my little spanner? I have to go in handle first. There you go. I'm guessing you could put the, uh, the hammer in that one maybe. Or maybe not. There you go. Sort of like that. If he's the uh, guy to fix things. But nowhere for the spike that I can see to go. But here's a nice looking figure. I do like the look of that. I think he looks good. Again, it's the same Caden look. Very chunky and stocky. The next guy, the next non-sergeant guy, very similar. He's got this nice added addition of the uh, rope on the back. Again, that holster with nothing that goes in it. They can put the hammer or something else in. Not much going on in terms of shedding. There's a little bit, but not highlighting. It looks pretty good. I like the little goggles on his uh, helmet there. Nice looking figure again. Very chunky and stocky. Then we have the sergeant who I had just a minute ago. His foot on the uh, box and his arrows under his arm, and that's quite amusing. Yeah, Sergeant. He's pretty cool looking again. Very, very nice. And he has got a pistol in his holster, but he can't take it out. Okay, then we have the actual the actual ordinance. We have the action actual, actual uh, Malleus rocket launcher here. Which has got quite a few features, which, which and some I'm sure I haven't seen. In fact, I think I just spotted another one there. Let's get a quick look at this. So, close look, and then we look at the features. You can't actually see rounds in there, which is which is a shame. It'd be nice if you could. Great sort of targeting screen there, which looks nice. around this way some sparse details underneath but we'd expect that then from on top so features from the front this one doesn't turn this one does turn it screws down and up or not no it doesn't no no it's a whole the whole thing turns there's no screw actual down and up in it the whole thing turns though um i'll just turn to make sure on that this one is though on a ball, which is fantastic feature. Uh, the wheels spin very nicely. This does go up and down. There's no left and right on it. These do close and open. These do go down and up. And they're also, again, on little balls on the feet. Please don't break. Uh, you can see better on this one. I've done it already. There we go. Which is great. The little, I'm gonna call it a seat, slides forwards and backwards and these handles turn. The problem with this is the figures can't actually sit their bum on it and get the fit in the same time. I just noticed that I have got a foot plate here and not there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. I will inquire with my uh, buddies at Joy Toy. It looks like it is meant to be like that. I guess I'll see on the next one on the um, Bombast if it's like that. Very, very cool looking, and it closes very nicely. That will link up, and it can be towed. So what's going to tow it? Let's find out soon, Joy Toy. We don't want to wait. Really, really nice looking bit of kit. This is just a bit stiffer. There we go. Very, very cool indeed. So that would tow and feel quite nicely. Okay, won't look at the articulation of the figures just yet. What I'll do is I'll put them to the side and all their accessories to one side and what i'll do is i will unbox the next one and then i will set it up we can look at that compare the figures then we can go through articulation after okay so let me unbox the uh the, the bombast and then i'll be back in an instant so stay tuned again okay here we are very quickly set up so you can unplug this which means you can also unplug this from the actual carriage it's two pins on one side, two pins on the other side. So other than that, the carriage is uh, almost identical, except you've got the armor part on the uh, the bombast. Very easy to set up. 
Uh, figures are a little bit different, but the accessories are all the same. I'll just double check that in case I'm telling you something wrong. Yeah. Yep, all the same, the hammer, the chisel, the binoculars, the uh, adjustable spanner, wrench, etc. Figures are a little bit different in terms of their face sculpt, which is nice. You get both sets, you get six extra uh, cadians, which is fantastic. Obviously, the box is the same, but the ammo inside is different. It looks like a real bullet. So, we have this here. It's got the uh, little logo on there. Very, very cool. You fit two in this one, and with the other box, again, it was uh, two, but these are vastly different. So let's have a quick comparison of the figures. I'll get the uh, sergeants first. So this is the Malleus, and this is in my right hand is the Bombast. You see there are different facial expressions and faces. He's the sort of screaming one. This guy's a bit more cool, calm, collective. Other than that, he's got six, he's got three different numbers to let know where they're from, which are gun or platoon or regiment, whatever they're from, I guess, would help identify them, help differentiate them. So pretty cool. Uh, the other guys, we've got another guy with the goggles on, the helmet. So this is the counterpart here. The faces, I'm gonna say are almost the same. Obviously the number again is different, but other than that, he doesn't have the rope as well, this one. Um, but the faces do look the same. Then the last guy, this one on the Malleus has the uh, sort of a covering over the face. This guy doesn't have it. He's got the goggles, which look a bit off to me there. Again, got their own different numbers on there. He's got the rope this time. Nice. Okay, let's get a close look at the actual gun. There are a couple of different features. So, we have here, huge gun. We can see we've got the armor parts here. It's got the number six on there, so the three was on the other one too. Again, this part doesn't move. This part does turn around. There's a ball on the end, same articulation. Uh, what I didn't realize with the other one is this part here, the foot rests, moves as well. But I still struggled to get the guys anywhere near that butts flat and feet on there because the arms can't reach that. That'd be better. This moves separately to that. Um, this one you can actually open up and you can insert a shell. Does it close all the way? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, pretty much. But there's not a hole all the way through. So if I was to put this through the top end, it goes so far it won't come out the bottom. And the gun obviously does go straight and up. Again, the same other features where you can... Uh, Push these up and down. They might be a bit stiff in one side, like that one. And you've got the ball. That you've got the uh, ball jointed feet again supports. And again, you can close it for towing. Now, because there are two of these, whatever's going to tow it, I'm going to have to get two of. No. Yes, even not even no, which would be fantastic. Very very nice looking, indeed. I do like this. Okay, we'll go for articulation in a second. We just quickly check. There's nothing on here that I've missed. You can't open those can you there's a little button nothing shoots no oh, i see that button. okay now nothing that i've missed on that one that i can see at the moment so articulation is the same on all of them i'm not going to do a comparison this time because of the comparisons of the cadence in my uh command squad review and it's be the same with this so if you've not seen that video there's a link in the top right you can check that out but let's get look at articulation it's like too much glare or let me have a look. Maybe I can do it this way. That's darker. That's brown. Okay, so it's probably better. Okay, so nice left and right. Okay, down, good back. So the side's good. Shoulders all the way around. Lateral. The pocket's going to get in the way, but at least he's getting to 90. 
bicep bend, get the right angle, he's going to get just over 90 on both hands. The wrists are on a, a double barbell, so he will get articulation all directions, but quite limited. He's have a bit of a, more of a gap there to get more articulation. He's got a trunk, forwards, backwards is pretty good, side to side is okay, he can turn from the trunk. Um, there's no separate waist turn, his pocket just popped off there from the front there. There's no separate waist turn, it's going to pop off again now, I'm going to do his hips. Um, hips sideways, sculpting against the way, but that's pretty damn good. Forwards, I'll do this one, he's getting just not quite flat. Backwards is pretty good, and that's still relatively straight, not turning out too much. We can see he's got the thigh twist, which is a bit stiff. There we go. We can do double kneecap. Those kneecaps are a touch on the ugly side, but look at that. So, so tight. He's getting all the way. And now this whole thing wants to come off. He's getting all the way to, and you can see underneath, it was glued because there's a little white dot. Sorry. He gets all the way uh, heel to his bum, just about, or near enough. And then the feet, there's no boot turn. Jewel tweaker could have the boot turn from there. Never mind. There is a decent tippy toe, which is nice. Uh, you can see some highlighting, weathering on his, um, highlighting, I should say, on his feet. Dorsiflexation is very small. He does have good toe articulation, though. And his feet have got the in and out swivel, as a, but not the boot turn. Very, very nice. These are going to make a fantastic display on your shelf with the Command Squad, and especially when the Sentinel comes out, which was just uh, revealed recently. Going to put a link in the top right to that if you want to check that out. These are going to be... I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if these become one of the more popular lines or factions inside uh, 40k in Joy to Wama figures to collect since they sort of cross over into military a little bit and they can use in several universes, I don't know, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, just those, the chunky proportions a little bit, almost give me slight hints of Chap May, not that quite that bad as Chap May, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just quickly get this gun over here so we get a nice sort of look at this one here. And then we'll get the other one the other way. Or at least fitting in next to it to some degree. There we go. And let's get my uh, case open there. And you've got different numbers on the cases, which is nice as well. And let's get my guy standing up and have a little pose. And get it to sign out. And this sort of this sort of uh these sort of toys I should say I really like. I love the fact they've got big guns, it's in scale. This is one of the advantages of 118. It's easy to do stuff like big guns and vehicles. When you get to like 112, it becomes prohibitively expensive and and other problems associated with displaying and space and whatnot. Now, if you do like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. It is free for seven days, so it is worth checking out. It'll be linked in the top right of the screen now. And we also have exclusive content, things on there that you don't see on YouTube and everything goes to Patreon first before it goes to YouTube, except for things that are in the public domain that'll just go straight to YouTube anyway. And we have competitions for exclusive content and prizes and well, let me rephrase that. Not necessarily exclusive prizes, but you get prizes on there. We've got one coming up in the next few days to win a Planet Green Valley uh, military robot, which is worth well over 40 USD. More if you include shipping. So it is worth checking out and being a member for that. Okay, there they are. And all accessories sort of down in the front here. Fantastic toys. I am tempted to buy another one. If I was to say which one's my favourite, yeah, probably the Bombast. I'll probably say that one. But, you know, they're both really, really cool. Great releases. Great to have in the collection. Can't wait for more. Caden stuff to come out. Okay, it's so awesome. Thanks for signing out. Saying please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Stay happy. Keep collecting. Bye bye.